Southeast Louisiana, a true sportsman paradise. Imagine waking up to this beautiful scenery without leaving your minimes that you have at home behind. That's right. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bathroom. The bathroom is the only place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. Okay, so today we're doing a unboxing and a quick look at this um, ice fishing tent. I already, I already hear you. Boy, you live in Louisiana. What you need an ice fishing tent for? Listen, guys, you already know if you follow the channel that we're working our way up to a bigger review. So, so far, we reviewed the um, King Boss portable power generator, 600 watt. We reviewed the Delta um, Echo Flow Delta, the 1300 watt power um, portable generator. And we reviewed the Echo Flow Wave, which is a um, battery portable 4000 BTU AC. All of these items we are interviewing to um to see if we can bring technology to the fish dish right i love outdoors but i love technology when i have to leave the studio i'm leaving work behind right so can i bring some of those items out there with me while i'm enjoying technology so that's what we're doing and part of that process is finding the right tent and this is the first tent that the channel brought to test so this is the unboxing initial setup and i'm just going to go ahead and show you a clip of the final product but you got to come back to the channel to see the rest let's jump to the um well i can't bring it to the unboxing bins because it's too big so let's jump outside and i come back to the studio and give you my final thoughts all right guys so this is going to be my review of this fishing tent by out sunny this is a two-person fishing tent so i know what you're saying you're saying tech why do you need a fishing tent in louisiana isn't fishing tents for ice fishing guys i'm planning the biggest and most expensive fishing trip i ever planned and this is part of it the great thing I like about it right away, and you probably can't see from there, is it gives you extra space in here. You ever buy like a pop-up tent from Walmart or something, and you never can get it back in the bag. So, let's go ahead and take it out. It's supposed to be easy and simple to set up. You're going to hear a lot of heavy breathing, probably. You're probably already hearing some noise from the velcro just bear with me and i probably try to edit some of that out we'll move the camera back my first time trying to set it up let's see how long it takes it's supposed to be simple all right no instructions in the back so i'm assuming it probably have like some type of setup on the little tag illustrations but who knows let's get this little blue thing that have tied right here off and i guess i just roll it out have a rubber band at the bottom holding this so i don't know if this part of the tent or it's just protecting it during transportation transport i should say Man, it look like you just kick, kick it out. Don't look hard at all. All right, man, we're about a good, we're about a good three minutes into it and I still haven't got it up. And it's not the fault of the tent, it's just my fault. I should have read the instructions. Woo, 10 minutes into it, no luck. But guess what? Went back in the house and I found the instruction manual was in the box. Also in the box was some 
ice picks or ice screws. These things are meant to screw in the ice to hold the tent down. So you're not getting spikes with this. So it's, it's pretty much simple. It's saying that I should have just laid everything flat, right? Say unpack it, unwrap it, lay everything flat. According to what it says, pull the roof up at the top. So I'm assuming this it right here. Say pull firmly, pull up firmly. There we got it, I guess. All right, then come to the side, pull that out. The problem was I wasn't using enough elbow grease, guys. <clears throat> Gotta really pull it out. Really pop it out. Around east corner, wow. When you know how to do it, really doesn't take long. You go on the inside. All right. See if we can get this open up a little more and get you guys in the inside. So that was pretty easy setting up. Let's get an inside. All right, man. So this is a basically a, a two person tent. Now these are the anchors, the ice anchors that I incorrectly call ice picks earlier. This is the user manual right here. Like I said, man, I just was being a smart aleck and try to do it by myself, but it was really simple once I got the user manual. I struggled for like 10 minutes and I just wasn't pulling on the little tabs hard enough. So you're getting this in there. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight look like. And you, of course you have this. It's all black because it is an ice tent. It's meant to absorb the sun. Okay. And it should be isolated. Insulated, not isolated. Insulated in here. So this is supposed to be a two-man tent. I'm six feet. So, I mean, if I stand up, I'm hitting it. You know, look, if I stand up, the whole tent come up. But it's for sitting down, man. It's for ice fish fishing. Okay, so look like it's insulated. Well, you have this right here, some little windows. The windows are plastic. I'll probably make a modification to that for the idea that I have. I mean, overall, man, another little window. Look, little, little pouch or something to put your little phone or something in there, you know. I can easily put like a little, a little table right there, right. Put my fishing chair right here, okay. So, two man ice fishing tent. Man, I got plans for this, guys. Wait till y'all see what I have planned. All right, guys, welcome back. So as you've seen, that just was my initial setup, you know, without reading the instructions or whatever. Now, I like to set tents up and stuff like that without reading the instructions, especially whenever I'm looking at the word instant and stuff like that. I want to see how comprehensive it is and if it's, you know, easy enough for a dummy to do it, right? Now, in this case, it's pretty simple. It was some overlap on, on my on my part because I wasn't pulling it out hard enough. Um, I just didn't know the technique. But once I got it set up and tear down, it's easy. I'm thoroughly amazed. One of the things I was disappointed with is that I thought that it was like insulated, insulated, and in the inside you can see like the little quilt paddings or whatever. So it, it it's well it's it's put together well. I can say that, but it still doesn't hold the temperature like I want it, but I made some modifications and I know for sure I'm able to cool it off now. But again, you gotta wait to the final review to see exactly what we end up with. So um, and there you have it, guys. This is um, a two person fishing tent. It's your boy taking the bath. I'm gonna take that time. Peace, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. When it's free. <laughs>